All right, Dale Jr. is here to support Josh Berry, his current driver at Junior Motorsports, but obviously he's been tapped to drive in the NASCAR Cup Series. This is the eighth driver that you've had from Junior Motorsports as a full-time driver that now has a Cup Series ride. So is it the driver? Is it just you being really good at picking talent? What is it about these drivers that they just excel so well and so fast? I think it's our organization being able to put good race cars underneath them to, so they can go out there and show what they can do and get up front where people are paying attention. Um, I, I told the employees today when we announced uh, the, the news uh, with Josh standing there, I said, you guys all made this happen. Everybody here that if you know that gives Josh the opportunity to drive the cars and run well, y'all are the reason why people get opportunities at the next level. Our race team is not the final destination. Now some people do come work for us and want to be there and that's where they want to end up. They enjoy the the, the atmosphere and the family atmosphere and they enjoy Xfinity racing but we're not the final destination for a lot of drivers, crew chiefs, engineers, people that are trying to get to the cup level. But we're that perfect vessel. We want the series, we want the cup series to look down at Junior Motorsports and say or look down, when, when they do look down at an Xfinity series or a truck series where is the talent? We want them to know that they need to look at us and look in our building to find the talent they're looking for and so um, I tell people all the time when we get a phone call from a cup team or somebody comes and has interest in our employees, that's a win, that's like a trophy, that's like winning a race for me. We have succeeded on a, on a big level when we have provided somebody that opportunity and they're actually going to, to be able to get called up, if you will, so uh, especially at the driver level. I know that you know it's, it's great when the crew chiefs and the engineers get a, get a call, but man, when you can graduate a driver, it's just so tough. Everybody knows how hard it is for drivers to get to that top level, so when you can do that, it's very rewarding. You're credited a lot for discovering Josh Berry, but you now know him not only on a driver level and a racer level, but as a friend. What's going to make him successful to race on Sundays, not just on the track, but his mental attitude, the type of guy he is, and, and just knowing what he has to look forward to? I don't think that I'll compare him with a better crew chief than Rodney Childers. Rodney and, Rodney and Josh's history is very similar in the late model ranks. Rodney really appreciates Josh because of how they experienced sort of the same thing, trying to make it to the cup level. Rodney was a very talented race car driver and um, did not get those breaks, right? But Josh was able to do some of those things, and I think Rodney uh, is connected to him in some, in some unique way. So that will be a very big part of any success they have in the future. But, you know, obviously, um, you know, Tony's supporting the team and, and Tony's belief, we've heard his words today, his belief in Josh, Josh knowing that, you know, I think, you know, J J looking up at Tony and Zipidelli and even Harvick, though Harvick's not going to be officially involved in the team, he will be in a very, you know, he'll be ca calling in and giving advice. All of them believing in Josh and supporting Josh is going to make him more and more confident when he goes out on that racetrack. A driver uh, is, is so emboldened and, and, and full of, full of confidence when he knows that everybody around him really wants him to be the guy. And so when you lose that, man, it's, it, you, you've lost it all. You, 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 you feel like you're on an island. But um, it seems like to me that everybody's really feeling like Josh, all of the SHR feels like that he's a good fit. They're all racers. They love to race. They, they live racing. And that's exactly what Josh is. And I think that that's a great fit for him and a great fit for Stuart Haas. So. You know, they'll, they'll work hard. Um, they'll, I told Josh the performance of, ra of race teams ebbs and flows. And, um, you know, Stuart Haas could be easily on top of the sport in no time. And, um, and it, he, would be ha he would have to carry some responsibility to help them get there. And so um, I think he's a hard worker and can make the, make the company better. And, and he's a good driver that, that, that understands what he needs, can communicate well. and and describe what he's what he's feeling and what what he thinks the car how the car can improve so it's a it's a win for everybody i believe another thing too i think for josh is he's developed you know you don't have to he's not this young guy that you got to wait for uh, him to understand the racecraft and learn and process things he's ready he's plug in now uh, ready to win and um, i believe that'll that'll happen